Welcome back to This Week in Auburn Sports. I'm Plainsman Sports Editor Eric Wallace, joined once again by Assistant Sports Editor David McKinney. Got a full show for you today, so we'll hop right into it. Uh, football's got a scrimmage coming up in Jordan-Hare Stadium this Saturday. This will be their uh, second scrimmage of the spring so far. Uh, last weekend, we got the news um, of the surprise victory, almost, by the, by the defense in the practice. And, uh, you know, some people may be a little bit worried about the offense, you know, struggling coming in with new, a new quarterback, new running backs. Um, but I think it's really just a sign that the defense may be a little bit ahead of schedule to where people thought they were with guys like Trey Matthews. You know, yeah, I think, uh, I think Will Muschamp has him playing uh, with a lot of energy. That's what a lot of them have said. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, that he's a lot more high intensity um, than Ellis Johnson was in practice. You know, he's, he gets on him and stuff. And <clears throat> Yeah, I think guys like Trey Matthews, Trey Williams, uh, Heard Trey Williams really laying some people out last yeah. Saturday. Uh, hearing a lot of good things about Jonathan Ford, so uh, hopefully the defense will be much improved this year. And that's one of the things you heard a lot from coaches was that the um, the defense was really laying some momentum changing hits. Um, and I think that's just a big part of them changing their identity from you know being a weakness to a team that can change the flow of the game, can make big game changing plays, um, and you know come up with those crucial stops that they really just haven't been able to um, in recent seasons. Uh, moving on to other sports, we've got uh, softball and baseball are both on the road uh, this weekend. Softball heads over to uh, take on number 23 Texas A&M in College Station, while baseball travels down to Baton Rouge to take on the number three LSU Tigers. Uh, David's been at softball a lot recently, and uh, you know they, they've had a couple losses recently as it gets tougher. I know Tennessee got one on them um, this past weekend for their first home loss. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, the schedule's picking up, but they're still managing to win all their yeah. series, and the offense really hasn't slowed down that much. Yeah, the SEC is really the, uh, the upper echelon of, of softball, and, you know, they're, you know they're, like you said, they're winning the series, and uh, not only are they hitting home runs, but they're getting timely, you know, they're getting timely hitting, mm -hmm. you know, they're getting sack flies, they're getting singles and doubles when they need them, so really they're doing, uh, they're doing exactly what they need to be doing to head toward Oklahoma City. Absolutely, and, you know, I mean, just... When you got the pitching, if it can come along, you know, a little bit, so they're not having to win 12, 9, 8, 6 games all the time. Uh, they could just take that next step and move, keep moving on up in the rankings. Uh, over with uh, Sonny Galloway and the baseball Tigers, um, you know, the record is better. They're still, you know, it's still a losing record in SEC play compared to last year, uh, though it's hard not to see improvements. They definitely, um, they have more depth in the hitting uh, order. Um, they're coming. They're finding a second pitcher. Cole Lipscomb's really stepped up to complement Keegan Thompson, and you know, obviously going to LSU, that's going to be a, a heck of an environment to play in, and they're one of the best teams in the nation. So it's going to be tough for them to win games, but you know, just going into the games, you can see that they've improved and they've they've taken the next step, I guess, for for Galloway so far. Uh, finally, gymnastics. They don't have any events coming up, but uh, last weekend they clinched their first trip to the national uh, gymnastics meet. Uh, in over 12 years, it had been since 2003 since they made it, and uh, I guess this is just another achievement for them, you know, in a record-breaking season overall. Yeah, it's a big, uh, it's a big deal. I think uh, Jeff Grabe definitely has that program uh, a lot better than it, than it has been recently. Absolutely, and when you look at the record books uh, this season, they've recorded six of the top ten program scores of all time. So that I mean that that stat alone just shows you that this is probably the best gymnastics team Auburn has ever seen. So we'll see if they can uh, continue that. They'll travel to Fort Worth, Texas um, to, uh, for the Nationals meet it's, uh, from April 17th to the 19th. So uh, be sure to follow that action. Check back to theplainsman.com for any uh, sports news, sports recaps uh, this weekend. Um, it'll all be there. So, uh, and if you're on campus, make sure you pin up, pick up our print edition. We've got a cool layout for uh, commemorating the um, gymnastics um, going back to Nationals. So I think that's all we got, David. Can't uh, add anything more. So um, until next time, this has been This Week in Auburn Sports.